Where did everybody go? For nine weeks, the animal residents of Colchester Zoo have been getting used to life without human visitors. Because of the COVID threat, the zoo is closed to the public who provide its only source of income. So for two months, the cost of caring for 1,500 animals has been met from a fast shrinking reserve fund. If the zoo isn't allowed to reopen in July, it may become another victim of the pandemic. Pretty much every zoo in the UK at the moment it, it is wondering whether or not they've got a future. And certainly if things don't open up to us soon, there is a real chance that a lot of us will have to close. Um, we rely on people coming to visit us. That's what keeps us going. And without that, we're in trouble. Come on, penguins! Before the virus, on a sunny day like this, thousands would enjoy watching feeding time at Penguin Beach. But for the last nine weeks, these creatures have enjoyed their version of private dining. The trouble is, no visitors means no revenue to pay for the fish they're eating and all the other costs of running this zoo. Closure would also mean the end of an endangered species breeding program that produced Lottie the baby rhino and most recently a litter of cheetah cubs. In the closed zoo, its roles reversed as animals stare at the few people they see. Yes, yes. Do we get it? The increased excitement at any human contact has convinced keepers many breeds are actually missing their visitors. A lot of the animals are really interactive with people. Species like these guys, you can see they come over, they want to know what's going on, they want to interact. Um, and of course the primates, you know, that they enjoy watching us as much as we enjoy watching them. Like other businesses, they are making preparations for a controlled reopening while still waiting to see when that can happen. The memo about social distancing clearly didn't reach the lemurs, but then they are members of the same household. Paul Davis, ITV News, Colchester.